Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail of Fight. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, question for you, especially if you're a parent. Or maybe if you're not a parent, how much would you sell your baby for? Great question. How much would you sell your baby for? Personally? Me? Um, I wouldn't because I like them. These people, on the other hand, um, they've decided, well, my baby, I'll sell it for a six pack of beer and a thousand dollars in cash. That's what their two month old baby was worth. That doesn't make sense. That's staggering. Or we uh, carry on with this ridiculous is ridiculous the right word. I don't even know if ridiculous is the right word. It, it is shocking. I don't actually know how much commentary. I can add to it because the story, I don't know, it kind of speaks for itself, really. It's so stupid, the story. I should be doing it in a hot dog costume. That's how stupid it is. But ultimately, we're talking about a real baby here. So it's kind of deadly serious at the same time. So do like, subscribe, share, all of those things. Whether you're watching on YouTube or on Rumble um, at Third Railify, both of those channels. Um, also, do follow me on X at Third Railify there as well. And if you are a Chadly Chad, thirdrailify.locals.com, this the story here. The price of our baby's life is a six pack of beer and a thousand dollars in cash, said Arkansas couple as they tried to offload their newborn. A disturbed Arkansas couple tried to trade their two-month-old baby for a six-pack of beer and a $1,000, officials say. I'm speechless at that. Genuinely, I'm speechless at that. I mean, you know, sometimes I'll shout to my kids, I'm going to sell you to the gypsies. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna sell them to the gypsies because the gypsies couldn't afford it do not fear me gypsy all i want from you is your tears but th these guys actually actually did it they actually succeeded darian urban 21 and shalane ellers 20 uh, allegedly offered up their newborn to a neighbor in exchange for the beer and cash after stating uh, that taking care of three dogs and a baby was just too much, court documents show. And three dogs and a baby is a lot. I can tell you it's a lot. But you know what you could do? And I mean, hear me out now. Maybe get rid of your dogs. What, I, right? That, that, that's not the craziest idea in the world. Don't be like, you know what? Three dogs and a baby, that's just too much. How could we lighten the load? Here we are in our trailer park. We are in our little trailer in the trailer park. How could we improve our lives? Lighten the load a little bit. Three dogs and a baby. Three dogs and a baby. I know. We'll get rid of the baby. Why don't you start rehoming your dogs? You don't rehome the baby. You don't do that. Now, you could theoretically rehome a baby. We call that adoption. And uh, the government is required in that. And that's a bit of a process. But it's much better than going to the next trailer over in your trailer park and you go, hey, uh, six, six pack and uh, $1,000. You got yourself a baby. The couple first scoured the Beaver Lake Hideaway campground in Rogers, where they lived, for beers before deciding to hand their baby over to an intoxicated neighbor, Ricky Crawford, the documents said. So they were looking around for beers, trying to find beers anywhere they can, trying to bum beers off of people. And then they're like, you know what? I know what I can do. I know what I can do to sweeten this pot. Take my baby. Like these, these, these people, these, these are bad people. Maybe they're, they're misguided. 
I think you can be misguided and bad at the same time. That's, that's these people here. Crawford, who records show was concerned about the baby's welfare, requested to take the baby for the night in exchange for several beers. Now, this statement, it, it's two things. One, it's weird. But two, you're also, you're kind of like, um, okay, that's nice of him. He's trying to save the, the baby. I mean, hopefully, you know, as we read this, we're like, hopefully he's not a, you know, a, a, a diddler just trying to get his diddles on for a night. Like he's renting a feisty fleshlight. Oh, God, man, perish that thought. Jesus. So turns out he's just a neighbor saying, oh, my God, they're trying to sell their baby. This could be a disaster. I'm going to give them a couple beers and I'm going to hold on to this baby for a night to maybe let them give their head a shake or so we thought the couple agreed and they traded the child and uh, a diaper bag for the beer so they're like, here you go have a couple supplies and here are these two assholes right here i mean she looks like a kid i mean what she's 20 He's 21, so I mean, he's 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 definitely a moron. He's he's still a kid as well. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. But absolute moron. Officers reported that Crawford smelled heavily of alcoholic beverage. His speech was slurred, and he was unable to maintain his balance. So he allegedly tried to do this noble thing while in a drunken stupor. I mean, I guess I, even if you're a drunk person, I still want you to help a baby if no one else is there to do it. After taking the two-month-old Crawford, visited a camper, so a, a different trailer, I guess, of um, a person named Cody Nathaniel Martin, who's 29 who agreed with Urban and Ellers to take custody of the child. So this, this guy, this Cody Nathaniel Martin, he's like, oh, wait a minute, they gave, they gave you a baby? Yeah, I, I'll take the baby. That's what I'll do. This is great. I'll take the baby. I mean, how do we know that this guy's not a diddler? I mean, this is a, a trailer park. Anyone could be a diddler. Martin allegedly drafted an, a, an adoption letter stating his official rights to the child. The letter read, I, Darian Urban, and Shalene Ellers are signing our rights over to Cody Nathaniel Martin of our baby boy for $1,000. Dated September 21st, 2024, court documents show. Now, crazy, it might sound, that's not how that works. <laughs> not how it works. Both parents signed the letter, which included a disclaimer. After signing this, there will be no change in y'all two's minds and to never contact again. So this guy was, he was looking for like a permanent thing. I'm going to give you this. You're going to sign this paper and you're going to uh, screw off forever. Like this is a, this transaction is final. It's done. It's finito. When Benton County officers arrived at the campsite, following a concerned call from the campground manager's office, they noticed that they noticed the uh, baby was in need of medical attention. And so, you, so you're like, oh, God. Oh, God, what, what is happening to this baby? Did somebody diddle this baby? Is this baby, like, beaten or dead or something? Oh, God. Well, what happened was this. Alicia Ayers, another resident of the campground, stated the child had a bad ammonia and fecal odor, and the diaper was full. Ayers showed photos of a heavy uh, diaper rash, blisters, and swelling of the baby's bottom. They were too dr drunk to change the diaper. They were too drunk and stupid to care for a baby. And do you know how many peas you get in a diaper? 
not many. At two months, at two months old, a, a regular, normal two two month baby, um, you're only going to get a handful of, of of peas. Following the investigation, the uh, the couple was charged with endangering the welfare of a minor and attempting to commit consideration for relinquishing a minor for adoption. And I don't know what that charge is, even though I just read it. Um, I think that's fancy law speak for attempting to sell a baby. And then after the fact, it was later revealed because, you know, this isn't a big surprise that uh, that urban fellow, the kid's dad, had previous arrests for theft and domestic battering in 2023. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. His bail is set at $50,000. Hopefully that baby is now in the care of somebody who actually gives a shit and knows how to change a diaper. Anyways, that's what a crazy story. So how much would you sell your baby for? Well, apparently a six pack, a six pack, six beers, not even a two four. Like, are you kidding me? Crazy. It's just insane. Anyways, um. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all of those things. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now. Now, this might strike some viewers as harsh, but I believe everyone involved in this story should die. <laughs>